What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. In this tutorial, I wanna give you a quick overview of the channel settings window. The way you bring up the channel settings window, any sample or VST that you have loaded up in here, you just left click on it and it just brings it right up. And these are all the parameters that you can use to manipulate the sounds. Over here, you got your volume controls, your panning, your pitch, your effects channel. This is actually gonna correspond with the mixer. If I scroll this up and down, you know, whatever channel you want to have this on, this is how you can set it right here. This is a sample that you have loaded up. And so depending on how many channels you have up here, then you can just toggle back and forth to the corresponding channel. These are your four tabs here. You got your sample tab, you got your instrument properties. Okay, you got your miscellaneous properties and you got your special tools and functions right here. The time stretch feature here. This is something that's really cool because when you're bringing in samples, you know, if you right click on this, you can see one beat, two beat. This will enable you to match up the sample to the tempo of your song. And right here, resample, if you left click on that and you go down to tonal, that's really cool because when you're dragging in a sample, if you want to slow down the sample without affecting the pitch, if you want the pitch to stay the same, whether you slow it down or speed it up, if you select tonal, it'll keep the same pitch. And you know, these are just all features that you can use to get your samples sound the right. These are some more effects down here. You get your normalize, reverse, your stereo, and ultimately this is your sample right here. Your inserts, release, sustain, decay, hold, attack time here, and your pre-delay time, you know, so you can really manipulate the sounds using these. When you use the envelope, you can toggle that on and off. Your LFO functions, you can tweak these out and play around with it and see what kind of sounds you can get from that. You also got your filter that corresponds with that. You got your tempo time base here, your global retriggering functions for the LFO. And um, down here, you got your keys on your miscellaneous. This levels adjustment. This is basically another option for volume and panning and filter cutoffs. This volume over here, when I move this volume knob up, I want you to look over here. So this goes up to 100% on that volume. This one down here goes up to 200%. Okay, so you can get some more amplification on your sounds using this extra level adjustment down here. This cut by feature. This is something that you know, you'll see in a lot of samplers, like the MPC and the software samplers, the FPC, battery. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here is an effect that I have loaded up. If I put like another note right here, it's gonna roll into each other. So it's not gonna sound too good. But this cut by feature, if you just click on cut itself, now it'll stop and then play over again instead of rolling over, so check it out. Polyphony, you can adjust the polyphony according to the samples that you're using. This over here, root note C5, this is cool because you can have the channel pitch different from the main project pitch. You know, normally it's on C5, this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the root for the overall project that you're working on. But you can change this if you select add to key, you can select over here, and this will just correspond with the channel that you're on right now. You can start off at six. So instead of C5 being the root, now you got C6, you know what I'm saying? So you just have more room to play with here. So you can uh, definitely get some good variations with that. And then right here, you know, you can just fine tune everything. Reset it if you need to, goes back to C5 and disable it. The function tab, this is where you can do a lot of audio manipulating. This right here is a delay feature. If I just bring this up a little bit, it's going to delay this effects sound that I have on here. Let me just bring this tempo down a little bit. All right. You know what I mean? And then, you know, if you want more delay, then you just... And if you want to turn it off, you just bring it all the way back to the bottom again. And these are all the features that will correspond with that. And you have your different filters here. You have your pan and your cutoff frequency filters, your pitch and your time. Now, these are all pretty powerful and really enhance the feel of your track. All right, John G signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology. Wow.